In this video, we're going to learn the basics of vectors, which are the simplest way in R to store a bunch of related values together. To get started, just like always, we're going to go ahead and create a new R script to store our code in by clicking the New File button and selecting and clicking R script. And then we can start working with a vector. Now remember that all values in R have a type. And a vector is a sequence or a collection of values that all have the same type. And we can create a vector using the C function, which stands for combine. And remember that all functions start with the name of the function, and then parentheses, and then whatever arguments the function needs to operate on. And so for the C or combined function takes as many arguments as we want and they get combined together into a vector. So let's say that we have a vector of sites. So we'll give it a good variable name, sites. We'll add the assignment operator by pressing alt hyphen or alt dash. And then we'll type the C function, a parenthesis, and then the names of those sites, which in this case we'll just use letters. So we've got data from site A, data from more data from site A, data from site B, and data from site C. And you'll notice that each time I enter a letter, I create a quotation mark. I put included in quotation marks, and that's how we tell R that we are working with a string, like the letter A, as opposed to a variable that we would want to create. And so this is just the letter A. And if you press a single set of quotation marks in R, it will create the matching uh, closing quote for you. So if we run this line of code, clicking Run, we'll see that we now have uh, a new value, a new variable over in the global environment called Sites. And we can see that it's a character vector with four items in it. And because it's kind of short, it will actually show us all of those items. We could see the same information by using the str or structure function that we learned about last time. So we can type the name of the function, str, parentheses, and then the argument here is the sites variable that we want to look at. And then we can run this code and we can see that it's a character vector with four items in it. Uh, and those are the four items. We can select pieces of a vector using an approach called slicing, like taking a slice of a pizza. We're going to take a slice or a piece of a vector. And we do that in R using square brackets, like this. Square brackets in R generally mean give me a piece of something. And so if we want a piece of the sites vector, we first type its name, sites. And then we type square brackets. And as with other things, if you just type the left bracket, R will create the right one for you. And then we need to tell it what part of the sites vector we want. And so if I put the number one in here, we should get back the first item in the sites vector. And we can see that we've got the letter A, which is the first item in the sites vector. We can get more than one item by, again, saying sites, square brackets. But now we can give it a range of numbers using a colon. So 1 colon 3 will give us the first through the third, so the first, second, and third items from the vector. And we can see that down here. This 1 colon 3 actually works by creating a vector with the numbers 1, 2, and 3 in it, which we can see by running it on its own. It's a way of getting us a, a continuous range of whole numbers. 
And so sites one through three is actually the same as saying sites square brackets and then using another vector to say give me the first, second, and third positions. Again, we separate arguments in a function by commas. And this means that we can grab values out of arbitrary positions in a vector if we want. So we can say sites and then give me the fourth, second, and third values if we want to. And so that gives us the fourth value, which is C, the second value, which is A, and the third value, which is B, in that order. Vectors are one of the most fundamental uh, data structures in R, and so there are a lot of functions that work on them. Uh, and in particular, a set of a type of function that takes in a full vector of values, uh, does something to them, and returns a single value in return. One of these gives us information about how many items are in the vector itself, and that's the length function. So we can say length, parentheses, the vector that we want to know how many items it has, how long it is. And we can run this and we can see we've got four values in our sites vector. There are also a whole class of functions for calculating summary statistics from vectors. So let's, for example, create a vector of population densities. We'll call it density. And then to that, we're going to assign a vector, but this time it will be a numeric vector. So it will hold numbers. And so let's say our population densities are uh, 2.8, 3.2, 1.5, and 3.8. If we run that, we can see we've now got a vector of densities that has four items, which are these four numbers. And then we can calculate summary statistics. So if we wanted to know what the mean density was, we can use the mean function, which takes primarily a single argument, uh, which is the vector that we want the mean of. And we can run that. We can see the mean population density is 2.825. We can also calculate the maximum population density, the maximum value in the vector using the max function. We can calculate the minimum value in the vector using the min function. And we can also calculate the sum of all of the values uh, in a vector, which maybe we wouldn't want to do with population densities, but we'll, we'll go ahead here as an example. So we can add all of the values together in a vector. So that's the basic idea about vectors. They're uh, the simplest approach in R for storing a bunch of related values together. Uh, and then we can take pieces of those vectors or run functions on them uh, to learn information about all of the values together.